Hey guys, it's your girl Leisha Cake Eek X X Chic, and we are back with another Cake Pop Reaction. It's been a minute since I've recorded anything. I've been depth in the depths of so many busy things at work and trying to get my editing done. So my apologies for the slow releases here, but I'm planning to just bust them all out this week if possible. On to this one. It is all about the girl groups today with a side of BTS. We're finally going to react to the latest BTS release, which is Ego. The outro by Mr. J. Hope himself. I have not heard anything of it yet, although I have seen lots of snippets of video on Twitter, so I've been doing my best to like dodge for too many spoilers, but I am ready for this. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's watch the E go. The sucker's three minutes long. This is like a full on song. Okay, here we go. We're now going to progress to some steps which are a bit more difficult. Ready, set, and begin. Cute. I remember those old dance shows. Okay! Yes! Wait, did I just see? Hi! Aw. You go hope my way. Jeez, okay. Hold on guys. I just realized I did not throw on subs. I kind of want to hear what this is about right now because I just do. By the way, this beat was not what I was expecting and I heard a lot of people say it was a lot different than they expected. But yeah, this is really different so far. I'm liking it though. It's, it's very upbeat. I guess after hearing like Black Swan and Shadow, which both have such like heavy like rap and trap beats. This is such a change. But anyway, I'm gonna go back just a little bit. And then start this again. Alright, let's go, J Hope. Oh, there's writing on the ground. Ah, oh, I can't rehangle fast enough. Touch the double, fateful recall. Wow. Excuse me! Chungo sucks. Oh, you know you're gonna get me when you get that beat. Yes. Hey. <laughs> oh no! Cute. Sorry. Nice. Hope Records. Hope's Record. Ooh! Wow. Holy. Established 1994. That's when Hosuk was born. Closed Soul by Mead. I'm obviously gonna have to rewatch this video a number of times because there's so much in references going on here. BTS! God, always putting puzzles for us to figure out. But yeah, wow, this is amazing so far. I'm loving this beat. Uh, I'm loving the symbolism, by the way, with seeing him being all happy and peppy and then seeing the very actually stark transition to him suddenly being checked out by doctors. A little symbolism there, I think. But anyway, let's just keep going. But I, I'm sorry, I need to stop and just take this in a little bit. Let's keep going. Chase Taylor. Yes! Slay King? Mmm! I love the shoes. Yum, 
want to get up and throw some. Okay. Map of the all. Oh, these vocals in the back, though. less from J-Hope though. J-Hope is always, I mean his whole slogan is you're my, you know, I'm your hope, you're my hope, I'm J-, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's, he's very much been that person who, now that I personally think about it, really represents what, you know, most people consider the ego to be, which is the, the mask, you know, it's the part that's, it's what we put on. Well, it's between the, the persona and the ego, but the ego is the part that honestly, kind of believes the brightest, but it also crashes the hardest. And that's what I said earlier is that that whole scene where he's in the hospital or, you know, on the gurney and then they're doing the check and they're checking everything because that's how it feels when our ego is bruised, right? Like it feels like the, the end of the world. Like so many things that we do in life or we avoid doing in life is because we're afraid of bruising our ego. And when our ego's bruised, it feels so sharp that it does feel like we're going to die, right? That's where the whole idea, you know, I'm going to die of embarrassment. Uh, this song was great. I love the juxtaposition of the cheery sounding, bright music, bright colors, lots of fast paced action with the actually really deep lyrics, which always with BTS. But yeah, I, this was great. I'm not surprised FYI, but wow, like the difference between this and Shadow and uh, Persona from the, la from the last album, like BTS has been constructing a masterpiece over the last couple of years, you guys, like we're not ready. I feel like seven is just going to be this, I think by the end of like listening to it, we're all just going to be laying like in the center of the floor, just trying to figure out what just happened. So I'm really looking forward to it. Only two more weeks. That was awesome. Love BTS. Stan BTS. If you don't already, seriously, like what are you waiting for? The whole world's on this train. Jump on too. <laughs> all right. On to the girl groups. That's it for the masculine energy right now. We are about to move on to the first girl group, which is Everglow! These girls were my rookie group, a female, last year. My boy group was ATs, hands down, but Everglow, in my opinion, were those girls, okay? They were those chicks. I feel like, for me, Everglow is way more my flavor, right? They've got a the little bit of the cute, that, you know, Korea is obsessed with, but it's also got a bit of an edge. And I love that the girls were never try to play too much into the Aegyo cutesy stuff. It's definitely more towards like, no, we're, we're kitties with claws. You know what I'm saying? They have a great rap line. They have a member named Aisha. I mean, I mean, love Everglow. So happy they finally have their first album release. I'm going to listen to that afterwards because I'm so looking forward to it. But um, Dun 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 Dun, pardon me, is their new video, their new song. Um, it is got 14 million views, just like ATs. It's like, yo, the, these, these girls are definitely like well liked. I don't know why Korea keeps sleeping on these amazing groups. But anyway, I'm really excited to get into this video. So without further ado, let's watch the girls song. Hey. Ooh, the cinematics. Yes, girl, work. Oh, I like that. Gotta turn it up. That outfit slays. Yes, you are, girl. The flag. Guess who's got flags now, too? Hmm. Seem to be standing groups with flags lately. <laughs> kind of funny to me that both them and ATs are now rocking flags. Not mad at it, though. I think flags are a cool concept. But anyways, look at this shot on the bike, though. This freeze frame, though. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, shake it. Okay. Yes. Y'all, this is a breakup song. I'm fear for it. Okay. Come with those bars, girl. Come through. Ooh. Creepy walls trying to touch you. I think it's my girl, Aisha. Love it. I love this. Okay. I love those face charms, FYI. So I tried to pause because I want to get all their outfits because I'm living for them, for the record. Stylists, the underappreciated superheroes of K-pop, okay? Because if you get a good stylist that actually knows what they're doing, it, it absolutely changes everything about a group. Just putting that out there. But loving these outfits, I'm loving everything I've seen so far, but I particularly love these red and black themed ones. But I'm only catching half of them here, but I had to say it. It had to be said. Plus the backup dancers slaying in their outfits. Okay, we're punching now. Okay, yes, give them that look. Yes. I love this. I want it. Okay. Oh, where are you going? The angels, they just going up to the sky now. Ooh. I love that. Oh, the flexing. I love this choreo. Yes, girls, slay! Oh, that's a cool effect. I like that. Yes, the light circle. Look at that! That's actually kind of re like recreatable. Okay, grinding on the ground. <laughs> Wait, did I, I, oh no, there was more of a zoom out. Oh, oh, okay, Everglow, new logo, who it is? Yeah, let's go ahead and hit that like button on that bad girl. That was awesome. That was, I was, I'm not surprised. They've got like, they've got exactly what you need. I think got a female, you know, for the, the rookie female groups that I've seen, they've got the stage presence, they've got the choreo. I love their choreo. Like this was such a fun, sassy, like, they just have that attitude. Like, no, listen, we're not here to be cute. We're not here to make you feel sorry for us. We're here to be like, we're singing about, you know, bon bon chocolat, you know, <laughs> we're talking about <laughs> adios. Like, all these songs have been breakup songs now that I think about it. Everything has been like, we're done. It's over. Girl, you know, you got to deal with me. You got to deal with my everyday. Like, I love this. This is the energy I want more women to come with, especially young women in this new decade, okay? And Everglow's, Everglow is getting it right. All right, on to the next group, our last female group, which is G Friend. I've actually never listened to G Friend before, but I'm going to give them a chance. They just came back as well, so I'm about to give them a chance with their new song, and we'll see whether or not this is a group that I feel like I can get into, but I feel like Everglow has set the standard pretty high for me, so let's take a look at what d Fran has to offer. The song is called Crossroads, or Kucharo. Yeah, Kucharo. Kucharo, okay. So yeah, Crossroads. Um, no idea what the song is about, <laughs> but just looking from the, uh, the starting pose here, it looks quite quite beautiful and symbolic. We might have a slow song here. Not sure what to expect, honestly. So without further ado, let's jump into it and see what we see. Blue butterflies have been in a few videos I've seen. Is there something going on in Korea for those right now? 
Watch yourself. Walking backwards is dangerous. That's what I was afraid of. Now that is a fall. Are we in the Matrix? We got a clock. Big Kid is going crazy with these videos lately. Between what's going on with TXT and now this. Oh, falling dreams. Had those. Look at this set. The lighting. This is dark. What's in the box? You collect butterflies? What's wrong with you? A giant marble? Crystal ball. That's an intro. Ooh, this feels like it should be in a drama already. you girl hey 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 don't take it out of the plants this house is very interesting just as a side note oh see if this girl's gonna get in the middle Blood drawn. It's getting serious, guys. This might be an unhealthy relationship. Oh, trying to make up. Sorry I punched you in the face, but she's like, nah, this is my money maker. My butterfly. Oh, they're still alive. You are really. That's what happens when you run, live right by a train station. Oh. Okay, guys, I'm taking a stab at this. So they're roommates, okay? They're best friends, they're roommates. And, like, everything started out, like, super great in the beginning, like, so good that they were like, we should totally live together because we're BFFs, right? G friends, that's what we are. And then it's like, but then it's like the cracks started to show in the relationship where, like, one of them started to get really, like, mean and had a real bad temper. And at first it was just, like, a fight of slamming doors and all of a sudden it got, like, physical. And, like, usually they would just, like, cry and, like, play the, you know, the victim and then they forgive it. But that now when you saw, like, at the aquarium where they were, like, she tried to hold her hand and she was like, nah, fam, like, you're, this is too much for me. But now it's like they're dealing with the fact that, like, they, you know, she still cares and this friendship still means something. But it's like... It's like fake love, you know what I'm saying? It's like toxic. That's what I'm getting from this. Maybe I'm wrong. She's being rescued. I love sparklers. Back to good times. Aw, remember when you were all happy? It's a beautiful shot, FYI. Ooh, 
house falling down around you. Some symbolism now. Who is in the dark? All right. Okay, G friend. All right, guys. So that was Crossroads by G Star or G friend. Pardon me. Very cinematic. That is definitely very cinematic. Um, we didn't see anybody singing. We saw no performance there. I mean, I feel like this is not the kind of song that you would necessarily have choreography to because it's got a bit of an up-tempo, but it's not really a beat, so to speak. Very little bass or deeper sounds in this. It's all very stringy, um, very synthy, all very up in the high register. So like I said, the first thing, as soon as I heard it, the first thing I thought was, this is the kind of music I typically hear in like K-dramas. This is like the scene that you would see either at the beginning during the credits or potentially during a montage where like, the, you know, the protagonist is running towards something, you know, like it's just, it totally has that vibe. And I don't know if that's what they were going for, but like I said, this whole video was very cinematic. It was like a small movie. It was really like a short film. And that's why in the middle I was like, okay, let me tell you what I think is happening. Don't know, obviously, maybe there isn't even a storyline here. And of course, as I said, I've never listened to G-Friend before, so maybe this is all part of a longer storyline that they've had throughout their music career, but very interesting video. And it just makes me wonder like how they're gonna perform it. Cause like I said, it's not quite a choreo type of song, I would think, but at the same time, I think standing still through this would also seem a little ox, but. It's a good song, not really my style, but it is a good song. And um, yeah, well, I mean, congrats to, to G Friend with their comeback. Hopefully it goes well for them during promotions. So yeah, that's it for the K-pop today, guys. Thanks so much for watching along with me. Which out of the three songs do you like best? Is there a group that you like more? And is there any other songs you think that I should be checking out by other groups? Maybe there's another song by G Friend you think would be more my taste. Please go ahead, suggest it below. We might get a chance to react to that the next time I do some K-pop vids. So if you like this video, guys, please click like. And if you wanna see more from this geeky face, please click subscribe. Until next time, 